What's going on everybody? I'm the Tim Iser and welcome back to another episode of Dunswell. Here we are overlooking the entirety of the city. It is looking fantastic so far, but it has a few issues. If we zoom in over to the industrial area, like I was explaining last episode, we have a lot of abandonment going on and it is all because there's just not enough workers in this area. But as you can see, our residential demand is super high, so the city is pretty much begging for more workers, more population to fill in those jobs. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on in this episode. Uh, the other thing I'd like to focus on as well, since that's not gonna take up a lot of time in this episode, just plopping down some residential, um, I'd like to improve our public transportation network. Right now it's effective, but it's incomplete. So we could expand on uh, the metro system as well as the bus network, because right now we only have like one simple line that goes around here. Uh, and if we look here, look at our land value. So of course land value is super high wherever there's public transportation, but you can see that there's a lot of blue areas uh, and that's due to there being no public transportation at all. So we're gonna have to address that and, uh, and spend some time uh, upgrading our public transportation infrastructure. So for now, what I'm gonna do is go on over to Willow Hills. This name is probably gonna change at some point. And I'm just gonna start to lay down some streets. And again, I'm following the same convention as the rest of the city where uh, where I'm leaving a gap between the houses and then we'll have like those little driveway things that uh, I was explaining a while ago. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean but there's like a little gap between all of my zones here and then I'm eventually gonna lay down some pedestrian paths. All right, so that should be enough for now. That's gonna make a big dent in our residential demand for sure. This game is pretty sensitive when it comes to uh, residential or, or any demand really. It doesn't take much to, to really knock out any high level of demand. And then maybe let's do some high density over here. This looks like a, a good spot for some high density. I always like to have high density right beside bridges and in sort of more urban areas because then it looks super cool like take this for example you know well maybe not this abandoned building but as you're driving into town you know you're kind of going right through some tall buildings it looks really cool of course when they're not completely abandoned that is and that should do it for now look at that that pretty much knocked out all of our residential demand like just these houses here and i always found that kind of weird you know like, especially when you have a city of almost 45,000 people, uh, I find it kind of strange that like 10 houses just dramatically affect demand like that. I, I would kind of assume it would be proportional. Like if you have a city of a million people, it would take a lot more housing to affect demand. Like that's, that's kind of how my brain imagines this working, but it's never the case. And it, it's just, it's a little weird for me. Um, so I think, yeah, this is gonna do us for quite a while. Um, maybe we can place down some more commercial here and there, but I'm not too overly concerned about that. One thing that I should do actually, now that I'm noticing, I should empty these cemeteries. I'm, I'm getting a lot of comments uh, that I should do that, and I'm gonna do that. There. That is kind of weird though, taking bodies out of the ground and throwing them into the incinerator. You know, it's kind of kind of cruel, don't you think? Um, another thing too that I'd like to go over is the college. So right now we're hovering just shy of 400 students. I'm hoping that if we get our population up, we're gonna blast through 500 students. And we haven't produced an academic work in like forever. So I'll have to look into making one of those happen. And then over here in this empty lot, I, I was kind of playing around. I'm thinking of maybe placing down a, uh, let me find it here. 
Where is it? Oh, yeah. Place down an aquarium. You know, this would be a cool spot. This would kind of be like a large park area, I'm imagining. So maybe we can have like an aquarium with a nice plaza that's around it. And then I saw here that we have a, uh, where was it? It was like a, a big library or something. It looked really futuristic. Where was it? I forget now. Anyways, um, I want to find it. Oh yeah, here. Grand Library. I mean, this would look really cool in this zone as well. This would most definitely raise land value. Um, I don't think I'm going to get into that this episode, though. I'd like to focus on public transportation for now, but that may be something that we'll get into in the near future, because like I, I said in a, a few episodes ago, I don't think this is an ideal location for a university. It's going to have to be much bigger than this. And I think it would be more appropriate to have another university more towards the outskirts of town. And then we'll have the, uh, I guess, the college right downtown. Because it still looks really cool. Okay, so public transportation. First, how about we knock our metro line out of the way? Uh, so let's see how we can improve this. First of all, we have this main line here that's making its way east and then dips immediately south. And this is going to make its way kind of like in this valley it's just going to keep going east till i don't see necessary so it's going to go out there um and i kind of screwed up here i should have made this here it's going to go under the water oh is this too steep i guess this is too steep there fixed um yeah, because I wanted this to pop out of the ground here. But that's not a big deal. I mean, I can just have it pop out of the ground once we unlock this square. And because, yeah, I, I was kind of going for a uh, like a Vancouver um, Skytrain kind of thing. So, yeah, that's that. Now, this line here. Uh, this line was put down before any of this was developed, so we can go ahead and at least bring this. I'm thinking, I'm thinking to just immediately turn to be parallel to this street, and then it would make its way over to this portion of the map. What do you guys think? I guess I could have a station right here. I'm doing it. I just destroyed a home, but it's okay. That person was compensated very fairly for his home. There we go. And then this line will have it continue. Straight across the water. Actually, I'm going to end the line right here because I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to develop yet. But at least we have the basics down. And another thing, too, that I was thinking of is maybe creating another line eventually uh, sprouting out from the main station and going west and maybe stopping, like, before this bridge. Or I could maybe cross it over the bridge, too, but we already have the train tracks going uh, on the other side. But I don't know. It, it would be useful to service this area. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so honestly, there's not a whole lot that I can do as far as the metro line can go. But uh, I will add a line. Uh, where am I? Yeah, here we go. So I'm going to create a new line. And this line is going to be super short. It's just going to go from here and back. Complete line. And this will be... We already have a green line. So let's do... Let's just change this into the red line. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's going to service all of these people here. And that should help out. All right, now let's get into the bus network. The bus network, we have a lot of work to do. So first of all, we have one bus network that goes right along the main street. Uh, it kind of zips through this neighborhood 
So this neighborhood's all good. Land value was really high, so I'm not gonna worry about that. We need a bus line that goes through this neighborhood now. now I may need your help on this, guys, because I am not a public transportation uh, network expert by any means, and I'm not even sure how bus networks work in real life. I, I have a bus network in my small local city, um, but it's it's really it's not adequate and it's not a good example of like a properly functioning bus network. So, hmm, I'm trying to think. Because ideally, would there be a bus network for for like this whole area? I'm thinking so. So let's depart it from the main station. I'm gonna create a new line. And then from here, it's going to go... Wait, hmm. I think this, this route should be independent. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to pause the game for a little bit, guys. I'm going to go do a little bit of studying on on various bus networks around the world, and then I'll have a better idea on uh, on how I'm going to do this. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I've studied a little bit how bus networks look like around the world, um, and I think I have a good idea on how this is going to work. So I deleted the bus network that was kind of going in this area, and I'm just going to reconfigure the whole thing. Now, the most important part, I think, that the most important part of the city that desperately needs public transportation is Industrial Island. You know, once we get some buses flowing over here in this area, I think it's going to help a lot with the abandonment issues that we're having. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to place down a bus station on the island, and I'm going to have a bus looping around this island, and then I'll have another network uh, or, or another bus line that's going to go from this station, wherever it may be, to the main station in downtown. So people who want to get to this island may have to hop on and off of a couple of different bus lines, but uh, it's, it's just the way it is. Now, the only problem I'm facing right now is this bus station is pretty huge. I mean, this is totally unnecessary. So what I'm thinking of doing right now is creating my own custom bus station. And where else should I do it then maybe over here like right by the metro station so people can then like at least take the metro here and then hop on a bus yeah I think I think I'm gonna do that so we get rid of we get rid of this it's gonna be a pretty small station I don't need to take up too much room so we'll connect this up I'll remove this zoning and let's figure this out. So I'll have a one way coming in like this. I wish it was like one lane one ways. That'd be uh, pretty convenient. Hmm, actually, I may need a little bit more room in the end. So I'll extend this to here, and then I'll have this one way looping around like this. And then we'll do like that. Alright, this may get a little complicated, but let's try to figure this out here. So, um, how is this even going to work? Oh yeah, that might look cool. Oh, why'd I do that? Uh, 
I guess that's all right. That should work. Now, the only thing is I should make a pedestrian bridge just to not impede traffic with uh, with the people crossing the crosswalks. But actually, I think with the uh, traffic manager mod, am I able to remove crosswalks? Let's see. Um... Oh, it just renders them inoperable. All right, so pedestrian path it is. I'm gonna connect it from here. Oh shoot, I may not be able to do that. Oh yeah, I can. Maybe not. have another bus depot over here maybe I should there all right well, let's get the bus network started so let's first go into our bus route we'll start the first one right here and this will make its way and a lot of this I'm thinking is subject to change oh shoot that's a one-way here as well why did I put it one way here? Doesn't look like there's too much traffic on this road. There. All right, so this bus it will come from here. its way to the refinery which I think is probably the most important part of this bus route we'll place it right here by the refinery and then oh shoot I can't place one along this road because it's a bridge so I'll just place it as close as I can so this will serve as the nuclear power plant and I'm gonna place another stop over here it may look random but this is likely going to be the entrance for the quarry so we'll need a bus station there and then the bus route will loop its way around to the farming area. And then let's have another station. I guess right there. And it'll make its way back over here. So let's go into our lines overview. Let's call this the industrial island. Oh, oh my god, I can't type. Industrial island um, line. And I feel like it should be like orange. Or maybe like a brown color. Just because it's industry. There. I'm hoping this is going to help out the island a lot. Now I'm gonna have to have a line that's gonna connect from this station. So I'll create a new line and I guess I could probably just beeline it right towards downtown, but it doesn't guarantee that downtown. Um, <laughs> how should I do this? Maybe I should have kept that little line that I had going on here. Here, let's do this. I'm gonna start a line at our bus station. And this is going to make its way through downtown. We'll have a bunch of stops downtown. And 
and then we'll make this go into industrial island and then loop back around I'm wondering should I just make it go along the main street yeah actually you know what I think this is gonna be the best approach if I just make this line go along this main street There, so we can call that the, uh, maybe the coastal, coastal line, we'll leave that blue. And then I'll make the residential line. I'm thinking this could probably start at this station anyways. make its way over here. There. What do you guys think about that? I think there might be some missing coverage. I think I may move this station a little bit more inland. And then same with this one, I think. Just because there's like two networks that are really close to each other. There, I think that should work. So let's go back into our line overview. Oh shoot, did this one not save? So let's call this one, um, oh, I don't even know, Central? Central, and then this line will be uh, downtown. Okay, now line number three. Or line number four. Actually, wait, hold on. I'm going to change the color of this one. Downtown, we'll make this red. There, so line number four, this is. So this will immediately make its way right over into the western part of town. I should really have a station over here in Willow Heights. And then from here, I'll have this station intersect with this one, just to create that extra connection. And then it'll immediately loop its way back over here. And 
and then we'll just call this one the west line. There's probably going to be some lines that are wester than that, but it's okay. And then we'll have this uh, line be green. There. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I could do because there should probably be a station over here. Maybe I'll just place a metro station. I won't be able to fit one properly, though. I feel like there should be an elevated station here somewhere. I don't want to have two stations too close together either. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. At least most of the citizens are now covered by a bus route, which is good. And now let's hit play. Let's see how this is going to affect land value. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Everything is just, boom, upgrading in this area. What would really raise land value here as well is having a little coastal park over here. That would really help. I'm planning on doing that at some point. I'll just have to get into that. Oh my God, look at the traffic here. Holy, what's going on? Oh my God. Doesn't seem to be like a bottleneck anywhere though. I mean, there's, is it people just not? Yeah, look at that, it's queue cutters. It's all their fault, look at that. People are just driving like crazy. That's what's causing this issue. That's not me guys, that's the game. <laughs> all right, anyways, um, I think that's gonna be it for this episode guys. I think we did uh, pretty well. There's a lot of abandonment going on in town, but I suppose it's no different than in real life. A lot of people are complaining of noise. I'll have to fix that. What about over here? How's our abandonment looking? Well, there's still a lot of abandonment, but I'm confident that, uh, you know, this is eventually gonna get fixed. We have people using the bus line. So that's good. Oh my God, look what's going on here. Okay, well, we gotta fix this. We gotta fix this, okay. Um, Let's fix this. Let's allow buses to go. See, why are there so many buses? Crazy. I'm just gonna leave it be because I think these buses are eventually just gonna scatter out. Because after all, we're like right beside the bus depot, so everything's just spawning and immediately going into the station. So I'm gonna leave this as is. Um, or maybe, let, let's check, line overview, how many buses do I have? Oh, okay, well, uh, I got 26 buses, probably don't need that much. How can I reduce the number of buses? Is there any way I can fix that? Oh yeah, vehicle count modifier. So, if I reduce, if I reduce this to like 15 buses, because I don't think this is going to be the busiest station. Even like downtown, do I really need 20 some buses? That's crazy. I don't know, I'll leave this as is. And if we see like just constant bottlenecking for buses, then we'll change something. But I don't think it'll be too much of a big problem. But this is sure to help out with road traffic, I'm hoping. All right, and I'm just noticing right now more residential demand is coming in so let's quickly deal with that and then we'll end this episode so i'll have this street merge with this one 
and we'll just continue on with the trend of oh that's gonna break those streets Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this episode. Um, we didn't quite reach the 60,000 people I was hoping for, uh, but I never really believed we were going to get there anyway. But at least the city is much more functional now. Um, this is with the, the public transportation system, I'm hoping will help out with the abandonment issues. Looks like it did slightly help in this area anyway. So yeah, I mean overall it's just going to do good things for the city. So next episode, I'm not sure what we'll get into. Um, I guess we'll just have to push for that goal of 60,000. I don't think I'm gonna have a choice but to start expanding in this corner of town. Uh, we have tons of room over here, so that should be able to help us out. But anyways, we'll see what happens. So guys, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions or tips or anything you would like to see me build and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. So with all that being said, take care everyone.